There's a saying that wine only gets better with age. If that's true, then a wild discovery here at the Liberty Hall Museum in Union, New Jersey has some damn fine wine that's as old as our country itself. When you're about to see some of the most rare wines that this country has ever seen, I figure I'd bring something to the table. Let's go get something special. Oh, better get reimbursed for this. The finest Carlo Rossi Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> He's not. No, that's not anything that's uh, historic in any way, shape, or form. But is it historic if I don't remember? <laughs> drinking this thing. And I brought some wonderful wine glasses as well. Liberty Hall Museum is an historic house museum. It was the home of the first governor of New Jersey, William Livingston, who built it back in the 1700s, and it was lived in by his descendants, the Kane family, until 1995. Now guys, a restoration unearthed the large cache of rare and vintage wines, some of which are over 200 years old. The home was built in 1772, before the revolution, and also a prohibition era, so they had to hide things. When we did the restoration work, we realized we had to take everything out of here, all the boxes, all the cupboards, all the bottles, and then we decided to rip off the wall, yeah. and sure enough, behind it is this great wine cage with all this wine in it. Now, labels, wax still preserved, because the cellar had been untouched for so long, Brandy, gin, whiskey, uh, and my favorite bourbon were all still intact. Also, pre-Castro era Cuban cigars. Yeah, I know a couple people that might want those. Behind that secret wine cage was also something very special. This was our greatest find at, in, in the collection. This is a Robert Lennox Madeira. It was uh, bottled in Philadelphia in 1796. 1796, guys. And we found, and we found two cases of it. You have two cases of that? Yes. With, uh, Anybody notice if one fell off the back of the <laughs> truck? But was it drinkable? Madeiras are 50-50. Because of their, the way they're created, we open one up and we'll, we will never know. But it, you, they are technically drinkable. It was a favorite wine of some guys you might have heard of. George Washington, Ben Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, you know, our forefathers. Let's pour some wine out for those guys. Now, each of those bottles could actually net up to $25,000, according to experts. Now, I asked Bill, what's going to happen with all this wine? Are they going to throw a big party? Apparently, it's up to the Kane family, because this museum sits on the Kane University campus. One of the best things about Liberty Hall is that the Kane family decided to, just for some reason or other, save every single thing for 240 years worth of American history. Uniforms, weapons, newspapers as old as the mid-1700s, and obviously, guys, the best part, the wine. Well, this isn't the best part. Why am I still drinking this? Anyway, guys, if you want to check out this awesome piece of New Jersey history, you can visit hane.edu backslash Liberty Hall for tour information, but uh, BYOB, because you're not getting any of that stuff. Trust me. I tried. I gotta get out of here, I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs>